Hi there, everybody. It's UK independent stamping up demonstrator Halsey here from slimandstylish.stampingup.net. Thank you very much for joining me today. I'm going to be playing with the Playing in the Rain Kling stamp set. I love this one. I fell in love with it. It has coordinating dies and these are the dies. What I love about this set is the tortoise. So I own a tortoise squirt. He's gorgeous and cute and I'll put a little picture over the video now for you. Isn't he adorable? And he features on all of these papers and also on the stamp set. Now, the great thing about these papers is they've got like a wax finish on it. So hopefully you can see, but they shine. They're brilliant. They're quite thick and it's really lovely. So you get 12 sheets of six double-sided designs and you get two of each. Now, I'm going to be using this top sheet for my projects. What I've done recently is I've started taking one sheet of DSP and using it to create a number of projects. And that's what I'm going to do today. So you can see the dies actually fit the images in this stamp set. The stamp set's at 70%, so once it's actually stamped, they will fit. But they also fit this sheet of DSP. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one 12 by 12 sheet. I'm going to sit and I'm going to run it through my Big Shot and I'm going to cut out all of the little character pieces. And I'm not just going to cut out the full pieces. I'm also going to cut out the half pieces and the three quarter pieces because we will still be able to make cards with those. So after I'd done that, these are all the pieces. I sat and did it all in front of the TV one night and you can see I've done the half pieces as well. Now, over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be bringing you cards that's using these little bits and pieces. So at the start of each video, I'm just going to play this video and then I'll show you a different project that I have used with all of these. And you can see it's cut all of the bits of paper out, but it's actually got decent sized parts on the back so that I can use the pink DSP with the projects, which is what I'm going to do. And I'm also going to layer it up with other options. So I'm going to do five or six projects over the next couple of weeks and hopefully you like them. I'm just going to put these all to the side and let's get kick started with the next project. Today's card is this one, which I think is a really bright and happy card. I used this DSP the other day and I fell in love with it. It is just a simple yellow check. It's Mango Melody, but I just think it's one of the most beautiful DSPs I've played with. Don't ask me why. So I've cut out the bunny rabbit and my squirt from the DSP and I'm using the bunny rabbit that's got the green jumper so he coordinates quite nicely with my tortoise. And then what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be cutting a circle out of the DSP. So I've got a piece of basic white that's 10.5 centimetres by 14.8 and then I've cut the DSP at 10 centimetres by 14.3. And then what I'm going to do is through the centre of the circle, I'm going to feed both of the characters so that they end up popping out the card. Now keep the circle because that's going to come in very handy. And in fact, it does because I use it on a card at a later date as well. And then I'm just going to feed these through from the back to the front, getting them to sort of sit next to each other um, as two little groups. And I quite like that. I'm keeping the bottom part of it behind the circle and the top part of it in front of the circle. Now I did take a little bit of time here just placing it down because what I wanted to do was get those two pieces stuck in the right place um, and every time I put them down obviously they kept moving which was very annoying for me. So um, I do keep checking back to the front as I'm going through this to make sure that they're still in the place that I want them to be before sticking them down. My advice to you and I did this on a later one of these cards is to actually put a little bit of seal or sticky or whatever you use um, on the foot of one of these so that it actually just stays in place and then you can add the foam from the back and you can then put that um, on while you're still looking at it, you see. But I never thought of that at this point. I wasn't being clever enough. So instead, um, I used a fiddly way always fun to do the fiddly stuff. So I'm going to be using the foam background. So this is Stamping Up's um, 3D foam, which I absolutely love. Um, I bought a pack of it probably about a year or so ago and never used it because I thought I've got dimensionals. I've never used foam. Why do I need it? And then just after Christmas, for some random reason, I decided to use the foam and now I can't stop playing with it. So it's been a couple of months and I've got through packs and packs and I love it. So, you know, 
it's grown on me, I think is the word. And I'm putting it on most of my projects now. It just looks much better when they're popped up. But also when it puts through the post, it all stays in place. I was always a bit worried with the dimensionals about them squishing or flattening. And as you can see, I am putting an awful lot of foam onto this card to make sure it stays in place. But I didn't want any part of it sinking. And I'm going to put another piece on as well. Um, I definitely do. I turn it back over and put another piece on. Um, just there and also in the gap so that it all actually stays level and none of it's flat but I just really liked the idea of this card I thought it was fun um, I really do like the tortoise not just because I have one but just because I think he's a really pretty character and this yellow paper is just absolutely divine it's so pretty it's my favorite sheet of paper I think now and there we go pretty simple to do but it looks really really effective so to finish it off, I'm going to pop a sentiment on it and I'm also going to pop some embellishments on it and I've made sure where I've stuck it that you've just got that white frame around the edge. I'm going to be using the Oh Happy Day sentiments. Um, there's a couple of sentiments in this set. There's Oh Happy Day and Rainy Days Are Better With You. Um, they're both quite cute. So as there's no rain in this one, I'm going to go with Oh Happy Day. So I'm just going to ink this up and I'm going to stamp it down onto a scrap piece of basic white cardstock. Okay, I'm using my Memento ink for that. And then to finish it up, I'm just going to trim it down. So I'm using my trimmer and I'm going to go quite close on this. I'm not going to, uh, you know, make a massive great big tag because I want the detail to actually be those two popping out the circle, the fun bit, rather than be taken up with a massive sentiment. I did consider top, chopping the O off so it just said happy day rather than O oh, happy day, but in the end I thought, what difference does it make? You just go for it, hells. So as you can see, I've chopped it down really quite tight. I've left a bit of a gap on the left hand side so I can make it into a banner. Um, I do quite like doing that, just chopping off a side. And I'm going to stick it on the base there. I'm sticking it along a line so that it actually looks like it's supposed to be there and feeds in quite well with the rest of the card. Now, for decorating this, I'm going to be using the metallic enamel effects. I really like these. You get three in a pack, black, white and red. And I'm going to be using the black one. Now, I do make a bit of a mistake here and jump the gun and add this onto the card before the card was um, finished. So then I have to stick it onto a base and these take about 10 or so minutes to dry. So this is why I am actually going to add the adhesive to the base and then stick the front on. Very backwards, normally it'd be done the other way, but I did add the enamel effects before I thought about it. Now when the picture comes up at the end, you'll notice that my metallic effects is a lot bigger. It is because I didn't wait the 10 minutes, I did squish them. Um, when you use metallic effects, put it to the side and just let it dry. But I actually squished it and so then I had to go in and make some bigger dots on my cards. You can see that's why they look a bit bigger there. But there's the finished card. Hopefully you like it. Everything I've used today is available from my store, slimandstylish.stampingup.net. If you are new to my videos, hello, welcome, thank you for watching. Do please like and subscribe so that you can see all the other content I put out. And go over and join my Instagram at Slim and Stylish. Thanks everybody. Bye.